Hey guys, it's Ethan from Espresso Displays and today we're going to be going through some of the functionality that you can get out of your Espresso Display and the touch software with a MacBook. So I'm just going to be demonstrating some of the things that you can do with the touch software, your Espresso Display and a MacBook. And for each feature, I'll show you how to implement it on your own Espresso Display. Now, it's important to remember that this is just a demonstration of the things that you can do with touch functionality with your Espresso display. This is all completely customizable and you can configure it to suit your own needs. To create a completely new touch function, you'll just need to press on this plus button here. Then select the type of touch that you want. For example, four finger tap. Then you can select the type of action you want it to complete. If you need help installing the touch software, you can watch our other video and there'll be a link in the description. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to be highlighting these five images and opening them. So the first feature that I'm going to be showing off is the one finger drag. You'll just need to use one finger at the top of a window and you can drag it around the screen. To set this up, you just need to look for one finger drag and click on click and drag. The next feature you can use is a two finger scroll. So using two fingers will allow you to scroll up and down different menus. To set this up, you just need to find two finger drag and select scroll. Now we're gonna look at the zoom in and out feature. So you'll just need to pinch using two fingers on an image or maybe something in a PDF and you can zoom in and out. For this, you'll need to find two finger pinch expand and make sure that the action is zoom. Now this feature is the rotate. You'll just need to use two fingers and you'll be able to rotate different things in your MacBook. So you'll just need to find two finger rotate and select rotate. Now this feature is the two finger tap for mission control. So you'll just need to tap with two fingers and mission control will come up. So you'll just need to find two finger tap and select mission control. Now this is another cool feature you can get out of the two finger tap. You can get it to toggle the on-screen keyboard and then you can type whatever you want. To enable this, you just need to go to two finger tap and select toggle on-screen keyboard. Now another cool feature that you can get is the two finger swipe for the notification center. So swiping with two fingers from the side of the screen will bring up your notification center. So to get this, it's just two finger swipe from left edge of the screen and notification center for the action. Now this feature is my favorite one. It'll let you change between different windows in your MacBook. You just need to use three fingers and swipe between the different windows. So to enable this cool feature, you just need to go to three finger swipe horizontal and select swipe between full screen apps. This feature is the three finger swipe down to show application windows. For this one, you need to select three finger swipe down and select show application windows. Thanks for watching this demonstration from Espresso Displays. If you have any questions, you can head over to the Espresso Displays website. Thanks.